What's up guys? Finn coming to you with another video. Um, I want to touch up on the whole cycling your tank and not rushing anything. I know you guys get excited when you get bluegill, bass, whatever it may be of your choice to put in a tank and you're like, hey Finn, I uh, just got a tank and I just put, uh, or I just put two bluegill in a 10 gallon tank, 20 gallon tank uh, that I set up. Uh, they're not eating. What do I do? Just to make it quite a, kind of uh, quick here. The best thing to do is to make sure you have a tank already established. That's the best thing you can do for you and the fish. Um, now, there's all kinds of videos out there that you can watch on cycling, proper cycling of a tank. All right. Uh, I told you uh, last week I kind of uh, touched up that I feel like two of you, uh, like a, a few of you are doing it too soon, uh, which can lead to death, you know, fish death. And you don't want to kill your fish that you're, that you got out of the lake and hoping to grow it bigger or, or keep it as a pet or whatever you, you may do. You just, you don't want to see it die and suffer when you took it from uh, already established habitat. Uh, nobody wants that. So, Again, with the cycling process, you want your tank to be running, all right? And minimum, I mean, the absolute bare minimum to have one gill, bluegill in, uh, depending on the size. If it's like two, three inches long, you probably could have a couple of them in a 20 gallon tank for just a little bit because they grow fast. Um, <clears throat> but minimum, man, uh, I would say, <sighs> I don't know, 40, 40 gallons for one adult or so. It all depends on, on the, the sex of the, the fish. Uh, males are really dominant and they will tear up uh, a fish tank mate. They will be very territorial. And that 40 gallons may not even be enough space. So uh, I, j I just want to go off this nitrogen cycle because... This, the cycle starts when you start introducing like fish waste, fish food, uh, plant matter that's decaying. Uh, it releases, it creates ammonia, you know, and that ammonia then it, it turns into nitrites. The nitrites, uh, which is lethal, very lethal, uh, poisonous. Uh, if you see your fish in the top of the tank gasping for air, that, that could be a major sign of uh, uh, high levels of uh, nitrites in your water. I'm sorry, sometimes I get nitrites, nitrates mixed up. Um, so then you want, it once it establishes a good bacteria, that, that good bacteria is going to break that down and then turn it into nit a nitrates. And that's what you want your tank, you know, that's when the cycle starts. Okay, you're getting, you're getting closer in that cycle, right? Um, and that's why it might be very well just to start off with the basic fish. Uh... You throw a guppy or two in there and feed it or just throw food in a tank. You don't even have to have fish in there. Just throw food in the tank and uh, make sure you do your water change because your water change will take those levels down, your ammonia, your nitrate levels. And it's very, very important to have a master test kit. I highly recommend those. Um, you can get them at your local fish store, Amazon, eBay, wherever you're, you're, you're choosing. Um, so yeah, it's just a, it's a process, and this process can take four to six weeks, maybe even longer. But four to six weeks is a good timeline, all right, for your fish, to, for your tank to cycle. So again, very important, make sure your tank is established before you add your fish in there. It will save you a lot of like stress on you and the fish, and your fish will thank you <laughs> because imagine you getting put into a, a house that's like filled with poisonous gas that's slowly, you know, rising. The levels are slowly rising. What are you going to be doing? You're going to be gasping for air. You're going to be stressed out uh, to the point to where you'll eventually die if it's not taken care of it. as in somebody opening up a window and letting gas out. That's what those water changes come, come in play. All right, you got to do those 25, 30% water changes every couple of days. Um, or uh, I ordered uh, a product that I will review when I get it and let you guys know. But just to um, 
touch bases. It's just a, it's a product that you stick in the tank. It goes on the glass and it tells you your uh, ammonia level, like, and it lasts up to a year. So it'll go like, uh, like, uh, none detected or very minimal, uh, you know, moderate, uh, danger. Uh, it's like four different levels and it, it's good for a year. So I just ordered it. I'm going to hook it up to my tank upstairs because I am in the process of starting the cycle. I did add a couple of guppies to it. I'll hit up that uh, tank shortly. And I'm thinking about a name change on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, Finn is off, awesome. Yeah, that's cool and everything. But I started it nine years ago. And uh, I'm thinking about more of a, a different name. Um, so uh, I'm getting into a new editing program here uh, soon. Uh, I'm moving on up, I guess you would just say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these guys are hungry. You know, it's funny because I got a, a sword tail in there. And he was in the mixture of guppies that I bought from the store. And he turned into a sword tail. I was like, oh, when he come. So, but, hey, here's my largemouth bass. Got him from the lake. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on a name drop them down below and uh let's give this guy a name all right so if you guys found this video um helpful give it a like below um uh, remember i'm starting to release videos tw at least twice a month maybe three um so subscribe if you're not a, a new subscriber thousand subscribers thank you very much i will be uh, de determining what kind of giveaway i'll have and we'll have a, a drawing for that. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope this video was helpful to a lot of my viewers because I do get that question a lot. Uh, so I did want to touch base based on that. Um, so take care, guys. Thank you very much again. Stay safe. Until next time, we'll talk to you then.